Hi everyone and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm trying some more things from Ireland. I've only got four things to try today because it's, it's, it's all I could find. It's been a while since I've done another Irish taste test so thanks to all my Irish subscribers for being so patient and waiting for me to find some more stuff here in Australia. I've got two drinks today. I'm out of control. McDade's Football Special. It's made from the sweat of footballers or something. I don't know what flavor this is. It doesn't let me know on the cover. And I'm not gonna read up about it because that's for boring people. Boring people read up on things. The footballer on the front looks kind of like he's broken off his leg and reattached it again. I guess that's how I can make that amazing shot. Cheers. What flavor is this? It tastes pretty nice. It's got a lovely sweet flavor to it. It's the flavor of, uh, I don't know. It kind of tastes like cola, but it's not. It, is, is it right? What is this? What am I drinking? What is this? Is this its own flavor or something? Hmm. What, 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 what am I drinking? <laughs> If everyone in Ireland could let me know what the flavor of this is. This is um, cola slash orange slash, I don't know. I really wish I could tell you. Look, you can see the color of it there. That's a, um, it's like a sort of a, a, an ambery brownie, hey, hey, go. Um, it's a football special. That's why I can't tell you what it is because whatever's in here is special. It has got a really nice flavor to it. It is something I'd probably get again, I think. I like this flavor, I just can't work it out. I feel like I can taste orange in there and cola and maybe if I broke my leg like that I'd know. Got a little bit of Denka rub in there or something. I can't taste Denka rub. Don't you love that they just don't tell you what flavor it is. They just say football special. That's all we're telling you. What are you putting in your ball drink Ireland? What is this? You probably shouldn't call it ball drink should I? <laughs> Yeah, not really sure what it is, but I like it. Lily O'Brien's Crispy Hearts. Look at the packaging. I love that. That looks really fancy and classy. Oh, these are honeycomb crispy hearts. A true lover of life. Always on the invitation list. Really? What, what does this mean? Is this like in general, like people that love life are on the invitation list, like to parties? What, what does it mean? Or is that what Lily O'Brien's like? That's what it says on the side there. And it's got a whole big story on the side here. I, I'm not going to read that out to you because I don't really feel like it. <laughs> it's really, I don't know how interesting it really is to all of you. I mean, I might start reading and some of you might just start to nod off to sleep because it's incredibly boring. Some of you might already be asleep right now and if you are, good night. So like most people, and then I start reading it. <laughs> like most people, my fondest childhood memories are sprinkled with sunny days. Oh, it's something nice on the side of it. Okay, well that's lovely. Oh! Oh, they're individual! I was expecting to bring out a big cellophane bag full of them, but no. This is what you get. They're little individually wrapped things. How many do I get? Oh, no! Let's see you later. One, two, three. <laughs> you get six of them, everyone. Oh, no. How many did I drop? I dropped one of my foot once over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. <laughs> It, apparently it's really hard to count to seven. Sit there next to the ball juice, Lily O'Brien. Oh, oh, I love this. Look at that, it's a little patterned heart. Mmm, mmm. I love you, Lily O'Brien, this is really nice. It's a lovely smooth chocolate and it's got little tiny pieces of honeycomb in there. It's really delicious. Would I get it again? Um, yeah. Oh, mmm. It's weird that part of my review is biting into it, showing you and just going, mmm. Are these popular in Ireland? I'm not really sure. But those of you overseas, does that look good to you? Seven of them is a weird number to put in the box. I just want there to be an even number in there for some reason. I guess seven is a lucky number for some people. That's thunder, everyone. Thunder from down under. 
Oh my god, it's another, it's another drink. <laughs> this is called Main Attaboy, and this is a new look. I don't know what the old one looked like, but it's a new look. What do you think of the new look? Is it any better than the old look? It's a very simple, plain design. I mean, it kind of doesn't do much for me. The red drink does, though, because I love red drink. <laughs> a red drink. I think I love red drink because when I was little I was never really allowed to have red drink. Funny that. I think probably because my mum was always worried that I was going to spill red drink on the carpet. I don't know why. She must have thought I was really clumsy. Luckily I've grown out of that. It's a carbonated drink like the other one. Was. Did I tell you the other one was carbonated? Well, well it is. Oh goodness I can't open it. Yes I can. Is this actually made in Ireland? I don't know. Now I don't know where it's made. Maybe they're not made in Ireland. I'm sorry if it's not, but this is all I could find. But it doesn't even tell you where it's made. How suckful is that? Oh, far out. Someone's at the door. You've got to be kidding me. I'm hiding in my own house because there's a man with a clipboard down there and I don't know him. Do you want to see him? Oh, God. That's him. There he is. That was the man that was about to kill me. <gasps> It's all right, he's gone everyone, so oh, we can try our drink and I need it after that. Cheers. Mm. It's a raspberry carbonated drink. It's not overly sweet or anything. I'd like a little bit more raspberry flavor in there. Mm. But having said that, it is quite nice. Oh yeah, red drink, hello. I just love red drink. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, there's other flavors. I want to get those. This one's not too bad. Not as raspberry flavored as I would have liked it to have been. Is it raspberry flavor? I don't really know. Has anyone ever tried this one before? Let me know what you think of this one. It's not too bad. Just would you like it to be more strongly flavored? Next up, I've got something terrifying. They're called Meanies. And check out the cover on this. Is this for children? Do children like that? Of course they do. Yuck! <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't think I like this fella. I really don't. They're actually pickled onion flavor. For some reason I thought they were going to be really spicy and hot. I don't know why they've got like a, a an evil creature on the front of it. I don't like it. What, who decided to put him on the front of it? Oh, I've got a whiff of pickled undercut. I got a whiff of pickled onion come out of here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry that was quite dramatic. This is what they look like inside. This is what you get inside. He really wants to kill me. <laughs> I think he can hear me. Shh everyone shh. He's gone. I actually sort of saw him go off that way. I'm thinking he's a neighbor but still I don't want the neighbor to kill me. I just want to try my meanies. Just, the packaging on this is really not helping this situation. I'm so scared right now, everyone. I hate strangers ringing my doorbell. I hate it. And I will quite often pretend I'm not home. So this is the shape of them. I don't know what this shape is supposed to be. That's probably supposed to be its creepy little hand, isn't it? Reaching out from the grave. Yuck. Oh gosh, I heard a noise. <laughs> I'm bringing myself out. really taste that pickled onion in it can't you? They're quite strong. Ooh, like a real sour taste to it. They're like a corn snack. Uh, I don't mind them but I don't think I'd necessarily get them over another sort of crisp. Oh, it kind of made my mouth water and go weird. Is that normal? Am I allergic? I might also be drooling because of the fear of the man with a clipboard. Apparently I drool when I'm scared. It's interesting isn't it? It's a survival technique because, you know, if I'm like sitting in the corner and there's a crazy killer in the room or something and they see me there drooling, then they're probably going to leave me alone and go for someone else. That's brilliant, really. <laughs> That's brilliant. They're quite nice. They've got a very sour taste to them. They're nice and crispy. Actually, I'm kind of getting used to the flavor now and I want more. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. Have a fantastic week. I'll see you next time. Bye.